Hey church, I uh, wanted to give y'all a little follow-up. Uh, for those of you who watched my little short uh, live stream before our meeting last night um, on how the church was going to begin rolling into um, a return to some in-person programming, the meeting went great. We uh, It went long. <laughs> Typical Trey-led meeting, it went long. But we, we prayed, we listened, we shared our thoughts, um, we talked from our perspectives, and it was a very good meeting. We didn't make it through the whole agenda, and I'm not surprised we didn't. There's a lot to think through. So the group has agreed to meet back together again um, next Wednesday at 5 o'clock to continue to think through the framework of our ethical decision-making, uh, do no harm, um, do good, and um, maintain um, and stay in love with God, remain in the sacraments, and, and, um, and in the disciplines of the faith. So really what I want to do is just give you all a quick little uh, update that thank you for those who prayed, thank you for those who um, have engaged, and the process will continue. And, and we, will, we are acting in haste, um, but we will not be hasty. We are going to be deliberate in how we roll into this. And, but we're going to be innovative, and we're going to listen, and we're going to try. We're going to follow the data. And we're going to follow the Holy Spirit. So um, thank you all for that. My little update today I just want to give you all is I want to give you all some homework or invite you all into Sunday's sermon uh, for Pentecost. And Pentecost, I've shared with you all, is, is one of my favorite days in the life of the church. Um, not because of the weird stuff we do, not because we wear red and yellow and orange colors, which, by the way, wear red, yellow, and orange colors when you get up. And maybe, maybe even if you're open to it, post a picture in the chat uh, of, of your bright colors. But Pentecost is the birth of a new body. It is the spirit flowing into individual pieces and bringing them together in a way, um, in, a, in, a, in a, an organism that we call the church, uh, we call the body of Christ. And so what I want to invite y'all to do is prepare. Prepare for this Sunday by reading each day um, these scriptures. Think about them. Circle a word. Uh, what really jumps off the page at you? How does it speak to um, your individually experiencing Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Christ, the presence of Christ in your life in a living and fresh way? Um, and what does it mean for us, the church? And honestly, what does it mean for the world? to know that God is already at work even before we get there. So the, the passages of Scripture uh, I want you all to read are Acts chapter 2, verses 1 through 21. Acts chapter 2, verses 1 through 21. And Psalm 104, verses 24 through 35. In fact, let me tell you, read the psalm first because that's what we're going to do, the order we're going to do in worship. But Psalm 104, verse, verses 24 through 35, Acts chapter 2, verses 1 through 21, 1 Corinthians 12, 3 through 13. 1 Corinthians 12, 3 through 13, and then a short little gospel reading. John chapter 7 Verses 37 through 39. John chapter 7, verses 37 through 39. And what I invite y'all to do is just get in there and listen. And uh, for those of you uh, who, who do, are, are like me, uh, when we read Scripture, if you want to read before and after these texts to, to keep them in context, do it. It's, very, it's a very important uh, hermeneutical principle, meaning a good way to study Scripture. It's also the way that Wesley taught his, um, his little bands and societies to read Scripture prayerfully, but definitely read it in context and read it broadly and pray your way through it. So again, Psalm 104, 24 through 35, Acts chapter 2, verses 1 through 21, 1 Corinthians 12, verses 3 through 13, and John chapter 7, verses three through 37 through 39. God is continuing to do a new thing. God is a creating God. God continues to create. Holy Spirit remains, keeps us connected um, with God. It's not a power source that we manipulate. It is actually a power source that inevitably manipulates it's us, manipulates, not in a negative way, but moves us and m helps us know how to use our hands and, and our mouths and our, and our feet. So prepare, 
Prepare for Pentecost Sunday. Remind yourself and refresh yourself in the knowledge that God is doing this great work. God invites us to join him. So thank you all, um, Crossgates, for being the church that you are. Thank you for continuing to pray for your leaders as we uh, strive to do the right thing, the best thing, the good thing, and to stay in love with God doing it. I love y'all. I really look forward to seeing y'all again soon. Stay in Christ, and I see Christ in you.